Hey, I'm James from J Technology, and we are here at CES 2017 at the Sands Convention Center, and we are here at uh, Digital Strome. We have uh, Martin Vesper, and he's going to go over the home automation system that you have here at CES. Uh, Martin? Yeah, thanks for coming by. Thank um, you. What we do is we integrate all devices in the house. Okay. So what you see is not from us, but how it works together is from us. Okay. We provide technology that it can work together, and we provide the software and how things are integrating, working together in a house. Because we don't believe that you control everything with a smartphone, we more believe that it should work together as a common. Okay, sounds good. So uh, basically behind us, what are we looking at? We are looking at now at a fully digital bathroom. So everything you see here is digital and controllable like that way. Okay. And that means if you come here um, into the bathroom, has your, have your phone, and you might just put it down here, it will recognize it's you. Switch on the light as you want to like it. Maybe the shower, the music, and it also brings it into the right position. Okay. And that is doable. And it's important in the bathroom because it's very personal. Yes. You know, it's you in the bathroom, different maybe as your wife and whatever. And also in multifamily homes because then you can adjust to the taste of the specific person. Oh, right. Also, it's always the same bathroom. Yes. Okay. So that's that's one application of uh, having it in here. And when you leave the bathroom, everything goes back maybe to the neutral position which you have for your guests. Okay. If we look here at the shower. Um, it's also how you get into a day. Yes. Um, you start your day and we put a screen here so you can see it's more like a virtual reality. You're getting close. You're close to that. You see how you're getting into the day. Yeah. So you wake up, your sun is rising, you have the music to that in order to, to see that. Okay. Once you're done with the shower, the next thing is how do you get into the day? You get information. Um, to you. Uh -huh. So I could go here and say to the Alexa, 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 tell my butler I want weather forecast. So it will get the information. Normally it would read it to you, right. but we believe in the bathroom to show it is the oh, better okay. information. That's the reason why we have this mirror here nice. where that can present any type of engine information okay. again. And again, if you leave it, uh, the L set back for guests or whatever or the next person to come. Right. And so b with digital transformation in a house, the way how a bathroom is t designed will change. Okay. So okay. We, we have seen the same with energy. When energy was able to distribute through electricity, we suddenly got the coffee machine and all that before we did everything on the yes. stove. Same is happening right now with the ability to distribute information. Correct. So there's so many applications uh, that you can do with this. Yeah, because everything is controlled via software. It's just up to whatever you can come up with your mind, how you want to control things. And you can use not only these devices in the house, but also cognitive services outside the house to do even more. And we can see that in the kitchen. Okay, let's check that out. Okay. Hey Martin, so we're here in the kitchen. Uh, what are we looking at right now? Right now we're looking at uh, also electronic water tap. And here we want to show how it also works together with cognitive services. Okay. So what we do here, I just hold the cup and we have used the Microsoft Cognitive Service which is now detecting what I'm holding in my hand and will say, okay, I need a cup of water so I get it in here like this. Oh, nice. Okay. If I would use my hands, it will see the hands and well, I can clean them until I take it out. Okay. With that you see the combination because now you can add knowledge to devices. This water tab just has an extra camera and with that it can you know, see what it's seeing there, understand what it means for us. So if I have an apple in my hand, it will select the right temperature to wash the apple nice. or the, the uh, um, salad or whatever you have in there. Right. And that just shows how devices get really smart. Because this water tap can learn over time. It will adjust. Maybe I always change the temperature when I wash my hands. Okay. It doesn't like it. It will learn and adapt to it. Because it can recognize it's my hands. Right. And it can also recognize I adapted it. Nice. And that's what we do with devices. We give them bots, what we call bots, that have the ability to access 
cognitive services, machine learning, can adapt to the individual one, and I can communicate to them directly, or like with chat, which doesn't make sense for uh, for a water tap, but for example, makes a sense for the stove over there because right. I might chat what I would like to have, and it will ask me a couple of yeah. questions and then do that. Like that. so, it's also including a chatbot. Okay, so it has many applications for the kitchen, even uh, coffee maker and your oven over here. Yeah, whatever is there, there are just a couple we are showing here to right. to that people get. Uh, a view of what can be done with them. And the important part, whatever you see here, including the robot we might look at, well, you can buy today. Okay. It's, it, so it's available. The software is somehow still beta in certain areas, but generally it's not like we are looking at the future in 10 years. We are looking at hardware and software which is available today. Oh, great. So is this available in the US or where is this available? No, we are currently uh, selling in Europe and in mega cities in Asia. So uh, Beijing, Shanghai, Kuala Lumpur, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, and those oh, things. Wow. There's a lot of buildings and and those buildings get this infrastructure, which is a basis uh, as that you can add those services to it. Nice. So I saw the robot there. So how is that integrated with this whole system? And it, it's integrated. So we did a bot for the robot as well, so it knows how to behave in the house, so I can talk, can tell what I would like to have. But also machine, like the coffee machine, could ask it, hey, send me a picture of myself to, so I can identify whether I have a cup uh, under my outlet. Right. And, and that's what we will see. And the reason why we show the robot here is um, we believe the interaction for the customer will either be the push button, because it's known, yes. you talk, but it's much easier to talk to robots than talking to something standing there like the Alexa or Google Home yes. because it's re reacting to you and then visual detecting things or motion detector or everything like that so that it's very natural for a person to live in such a house. We don't believe that people want to really use apps to control certain things. It's far too complex. It's much easier by those types of okay. things. So can we check out the robot? Sure, we'll have a look at them. So Martin, what are we looking here with the robot? This is a Robert Pepper from Aldebaran, and it's there to hello. communicate. So, hello. Hi. Hello. How are you today? I'm good. How are I'm you doing? Glad you are fine. I would like to show you the details drum. But before we start, would you like to have a coffee, a tea, or a glass yes, of tea. water? Uh, tea, please. Tea is a good choice. Which tea would you like to have? I can offer you green tea. Green tea. tea or a black tea. Green tea, please. You choose green tea. Is this correct? Yes. Okay. Now it's communicating with the house um, because we have a bot for the kettle okay. which understands what green tea is and how you prepare it. Nice. I'll so repeat for you. Okay. Okay, the cookbook, I could see green tea under the keyword. If the water initially to 100 degrees Celsius must be heated to cool down then slowly up to 80 degrees Celsius. This will take probably 26 minutes. Please note currently located for 7 cups in boiling water. Would you like to wait until then? Or yes. should we get your tea water now? The water wait. is hot now. Please uh, remove the kettle and fill some water okay. into your cup. No, it was already ready. Okay. Uh, that, that because we did it before, Quite but fact. if you would have to wait, it could tell you a joke or something like that. Oh, wow. So you see, it's very <laughs> communicative right. on the one end, but helpful because it's control devices. So the kettle is on, it's doing now the, the whole process of heating up the water and all these type of the things. The water is hot now. Yeah, Please I know. Remove the kettle and fill some water into and the And he's persisting <laughs> that you do what you should do. <laughs> okay. Okay. But that's what we see as a future of communicating. And yes, they will be able in the future to grab things, bring them to you. They can navigate in the house. Okay. And we should just make sure on the platform that even those guys work together with whatever we have here. So Martin, is uh, Pepper available with this, the whole system here? Oh yeah, uh, Pepper is available from SoftBank Aldebaran. Uh, but it's quite it's still quite expensive. It's 16,000 euros, 16, 17,000 euros, something like wow. that. But it's fully integrated in the platform. Okay, well, sounds good. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.